In this video, we're going to look at how to manage users and groups within WebSphere Application Server. If we'll first start out with the web base, so inside the admin console, we'll start here, and then we'll do the same thing inside the command line interface. So let's begin by opening up security and then go to global security. And notice that you, if yours is set up like ours, which is by the default for ICFM, you will have a federated repository. If you click configure here, you'll see that you have your realm. This is just a name. You can name it whatever, and this is the default name. And this is the administrative user that is able to administer that, uh, well, basically this, uh, the whole was machine, but then specifically uh, this particular WIM file-based realm. And you can confirm that if you um, hover over this and you'll see specifies the name of the user with administrator, uh, administrator privileges that is defined in the registry. Great. Okay, what's interesting here then is that if you look under the base entry, you'll see default WIM file-based realm and then the repository identifier is an internal file repository. So this is held in a file and it's like it's a little bit more complicated than that because if you look at WIM, it is, by the way, the as, as it is explained here, uh, and by the way, we are in the WAS Federation um, sort of, uh, here, let me show you, we are in WebSphere Developer Technical Journal, and you can look at this via that URL if you're interested, but essentially uh, WIM is the WebSphere Identity Manager, and we've sort of looked at this before, but it is what combines with VMM, which is the Virtual Member Manager, and it looks like this. So you can see that VMM, uh, that, well, first of all, here's your, app, your web application server, the federated repositories, the standalone LDAP. It, this all is essentially managed through VMM, and then you have a database uh, storing all of your users and your groups, right? So that could be LDAP, it could be a file-based realm, like it's file-based as, uh, as we're using. VMM, or it could be some custom uh, custom uh, setup. And, and WIM is the security provider within WAS, where VMM is essentially its own LDAP. And the first VMM login property is a special one because it's mapped to the user principle. Okay, for our purposes, what we are trying to do is see the users and be able to manipulate them. So in order to do that, uh, go down to manage repositories. You'll see the internal file repository. And you might say, well, okay, so I, I should be able to open this up or click on something here. No, not through here. This is where things get a little bit uh, confusing. And, and the reason for that is because this is just configuration information, and that it says as much here if you click on configure, launches the user registry panel, which is based on the current currently selected registry. If you really want to manage users and groups, you have to leave the security area. So and instead, what you should do is go to applications, click on all applications, or if you like, WebSphere Enterprise applications, and then open up one of these. So I would suggest the fact config, but the engine is just as good. Click on that and then go down to the security role to user and group mapping. Now when you click on this, you're going to see roles, which are, and actually you can read quite a bit about this, uh, this is nicely explained here, and I'll let you do that uh, on your own. But essentially, the role is an abstraction to the application, so this particular application is counter fraud fact config, and the, the users are located in groups, the groups are listed here, and then this is abstracted out into or is exposed to the application as the role listed here. So the administrator, the, the application doesn't know anything about CF administrators or CF supervisors or any of these other groups or users has no idea about those individual pieces. Instead, it just knows administrator or supervisor or investigator. That's what the roles are. And you can see some of that explained here in the WAS Administration Web Server Application Server A5 Administration Configuration Guide for the full profile is described somewhat here where administrative security is based on identifying users or groups that are defined in the active user registry and assigning roles to each of those 
users. When you log into the administrative console or, or issue administrative commands, you must use a valid administrator user ID and password. The role of the user ID determines the administrative actions that a user can perform. Now that's talking about administration of the entire system, but for the application, the same sort of thing applies. It, it works based on roles. Anyway, what you can do here is click on map users and actually you need to first select one role and then you can click on map users and from here although it may not look like it you can now click on search and what will happen is this section down below will fill in based on the number of users in that are defined in web Three application server these are not users that are defined at the operating system level these are users that was has access to so this is different from you know your operating system. If, if you were to, let me show you. So if I go to my Linux box and do cat etsy password, these are the users, and we're not going to see the same entries as we did on the last screen. Now, the same thing applies to groups as it does to users. So you could click on administrator and go to map groups and then click on search, and you can see a list of all of your groups there as well. So this is the graphical way to look at users and groups, and then you can make some adjustments as needed based on wh whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. But if you want more fine-grained control, you need to go to the command prompt.